Hey guys, it's Ash and welcome to the start of another new series. I know that my Dark Elixir farming videos have been a lot of help to you guys and uh, many of you guys have requested for videos on how to farm gold and elixir in the current metagame. And uh, as I know many of you guys have been struggling to farm gold and elixir as there are much fewer dead bases, very few collector bases, so you guys are probably spending a lot of time searching. Or you probably use inefficient armies with wizards or balloons. Uh, that take a very long time to train and are also uh, expensive in the elixir cost. So I'm going to show you guys a better alternative that works just as well as other expensive armies but is much better and friendlier for making loot fast. It's very similar to my G-Barge method of farming dark elixir uh, but we're going to integrate some dark troops. Why? Because it increases efficiency. Instead of using 4 barracks, you're now going to use 6 barracks. So you'll get a full army quicker and do more raids, which means that you'll make loot faster. Not only that, the dark troops that we'll be using are hog riders, because hog riders work as an excellent combination with G-Barge for storage raiding, and I'll show you guys how. And uh, one of the common questions I get all the time is how do I queue my troops in my barracks? And it's very simple, so I'm going to go over that very quickly. Uh, on your first barrack, cook two wall breakers, three giants, and fill the rest with barbarians. On your second barrack, uh, again, two wall breakers, three giants, and fill the rest with archers, and then do the same for the next uh, two barracks. So basically, you have three barracks full of two wall breakers, three giants, and uh, rest archers, and one single barrack with two wall breakers, three giants, and fill the rest with barbarians. So you should have a lot more archers than barbarians. And uh, you should have 8 wall breakers and 12 giants. For your dark barracks, uh, cook 4 hog riders on each dark barrack for a total of 8 hog riders. However, if you're not in need of dark elixir and just want to maximize your efficiency for golden elixir, then feel free to cook as many hog riders as you want. You can fill both of the dark barracks with all hog riders if that's what you want. And for spells, uh, just cook rage and heal spells and that's it and carry a poison spell for safety. Also, just want to mention that this is just one of the many great methods of farming gold and elixir fast. And there are many other viable methods as well, uh, which I will get into in the future episodes. Also, another important thing that I want to mention is that if you're not using the Archer Queen for farming, then you should not be cooking any giants. So if you're not using the Archer Queen, then don't use any giants. Just use more barbarians and archers. Okay, here we have a Town Hall 8 base. Uh, lots of resources and it's inside the collectors and the storages. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to get, if not all of it, most of the resources inside this base. Uh, so I'm going to start by first attacking on two sides and then I'm going to penetrate inside the base from one direction. Uh, so let's attack from this side. One, two giants some barbarians and a bunch of archers here and uh, that's going to get me a bunch of the resources from these collectors here so that's my main target are the are the resources from these collectors now now there was a spring trap that caught one of my giants uh, but that's fine as long as i can get that uh, gold collector right here and then i'm also going to attack from let's attack from let's see yeah let's attack here Actually, there's a Barbarian King, so we're going to attack from this side. Send out two Giants and a bunch of Archers behind them. And those Archers are going to get me some of the Collectors here. And then I'm going to attack from this side. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first remove these uh, unguarded, unguarded structures here with Archers. And then what I'll do is I'm going to spread my Giants here spread them around as the defenses are distracted send out my wall breakers and while the defenses are also distracted send out my hog riders and what those hog riders are going to do is they're going to remove those defenses while those defenses are distracted so this way those hog riders uh, quickly remove defenses and I'm also going to use a heal spell on those hog riders and probably try to couple it with a couple of other <laughs> troops like my barbarians and archers here so as you can see, uh, heal spell on my hog riders, 
a bunch of giants and barbarians and archers and they're gonna remove a lot of defenses here as you can see they're running around this town hall 8 base removing all of these defenses while my troops my barbarians archers archer queen are at the core uh, and they're able to get a lot of storage so you can see I'm getting a lot of resources so far and uh, since those hog riders have cleared up so many defenses it's just making it very easy for me to uh, get the rest of the resources and I also got pretty close to three starring this page probably not gonna three star I'm probably just gonna end it right here because uh, my archer queen is getting targeted but I did manage to get everything in this base got 282,000 gold 430,000 elixir and got all the loot bonus so that's awesome okay so I just dropped to silver league uh, and I found this base on my third next uh, so a big reason I dropped from crystal to silver is because crystal isn't that good in terms of gold and elixir and also silver offers easier bases like these these uh, weak town hall 9 bases and silver has more town hall 8 bases which you do want to attack and bully uh, to get lots of resources so I really recommend dropping to silver if you're looking for uh, if you're exclusively looking for gold and elixir crystal has better dark elixir but here down here at silver you're gonna find better gold and elixir so let's test for that clan castle first nothing's inside great and let's remove this army camp create some space remove that air sweeper and then what we're, we're also going to remove this air defense because that air defense is going to group uh, group our uh, giants towards it and then there's a Tesla right there as well and we don't want that outside Tesla to pull our giants either so we're just going to use a few barbarians and archers here and uh, we're also going to remove that town hall because it has a lot of hit points and it is in the way and it's also out of range as well so we're going to remove that uh, don't have to worry too much about that Tesla because we're going to send our giants out from this side uh, far away from it so that those so that the Tesla doesn't uh, group all our giants towards it as you can see only one giant went over there and then uh, while we have those defenses distracted we're not gonna send out our hogs just yet we're gonna send our king queen and also open up the second layer and now we're gonna send out our hogs and those hogs are gonna go straight inside for those defenses and we're gonna place a heal spell right here on top of all of these defenses. Hog Riders, they target defenses over walls. So you wanna place your heal spell on the defenses, not on the Hog Riders. Because uh, Hog Riders don't remain stagnant. They keep moving uh, as soon as they destroy a defense. So here, as you can see, all my troops are going across here. My Hog Riders are taking out the defenses. And uh, my giants and troops are also shielding for the hog riders by distracting defenses. So it makes it, it makes for a great combination. And uh, this way, I was easily able to destroy this rush town hall nine base very easily. I also have 24 archers here. We're gonna spread them around here at the at the south, and uh, we'll use a wall breaker right here to help my troops open up that wall. There we go and uh, that should do it. Okay, nice. Here I found uh, around a million in total resource against this Town Hall 9 base. So let's start by placing one, two, three, four archers on that Town Hall. Uh, so that should only take around a minute for them to take out that town hall and now let's see um we're gonna attack we're gonna definitely go for the core because if we can core this base our archer queen archers can target all of these storages over the wall if we can core it so what we're gonna do is um we're gonna attack from top right yeah we're gonna attack from this side at the top right because there's a mortar right there and then you have a wizard tower over there so we can get all our giants to funnel straight inside that core now our golem uh, our giants are gonna funnel towards these cannons uh, and that archer tower right afterwards so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread all our troops first we're gonna spread our barbarians and archers on the sides here as you can see on those two far sides on the top and here to remove that cannon 
and uh, that archer tower over there. And then we're going to send out giants right here, one large group. We're going to place a raid spell, combine it with the wall breakers here to open up that layer. And we're going to place a poison spell on the clan castle troops. And then we're going to also send out our hog riders right behind our giants and our other troops to quickly remove those uh, defensive threats in the core area. So looking great, perfect, we're going to place a heal spell right here in the core. Our troops have made it inside the core, our king is busting through, uh, the storage is in there, and our queen is also going to make her way inside soon enough, right here. And now we can use, let's see, should we pop the ability yet? No, not yet. We're going to first remove that wizard tower. King is still at very good health. So as you can see, this core is very weak because it's surrounded by a lot of wizard towers, air defenses, mortars, which don't really do much damage uh, onto tanks such as the Barbarian King. Uh, so I did get over 650,000 in total resource. Awesome. Okay, that will be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys again soon in the next episode. Later.